Greetings all, Devious Monkey here. Today, I want to talk about my aching spine. If you will recall, I wanted to sort of steer this channel down the road of uh, being a little bit more about being a disabled creator and the challenges that, that come with that. Uh, lately, I've been very challenged. I got into an accident. It was like midnight-ish. I was in the very far left-hand lane. I got mm, about halfway near the truck. Like, I couldn't see anything. He was kind of driving too fast and sort of all over the place. So I didn't, I didn't want to get into an accident and I didn't want to go any faster to try to pass him because he was already going too fast. So I started to just, I took my foot off the, off the gas and started to, to ease back and then bam, he hit me. It required a good bit of repair, so it went into the shop for almost three weeks. And in that time, I had a rental vehicle, which was a Ram 1500. Obviously, in the Ram, it's a rental. It was a very stock vehicle. It didn't have step-up bars. Getting in and out of the vehicle was a little challenging, and it ended up taking a bigger toll on me than I, than I thought. Basically, what I was doing was when I was climbing up there and all that kind of stuff, it started throwing my hip out of place, which of course then worked its way up my spine all the way up, and I was miserable, absolutely miserable, and I couldn't figure out what was going on. At the beginning of last week, and this is after three adjustments and a massage, it took the massage, which had taken place on Sunday, and this was Monday when I had my epiphany, that I had... Uh, when she had worked all those muscles and everything, and she said I was just a complete mess down my, my legs, my hip, my ass, my lower back, all that stuff. The next morning, when I tried to get into the ram, it hit me. Oh, that's why this keeps going out, because of this damn rental. That's the kind of shit I have to deal with that most people don't. You don't think about how you sit. You don't think about how you stand up. You don't think about how you get in and out of a car. You don't think about how you walk up the steps, down the steps, off the curb, things like that. Basically, the bottom line is, is that in my world, because of my angry spine, I have to think about all that kind of shit. Because if I don't, this happens. So now I'm left with the aftermath of that. But there are a few devices that I use, a few tools that I have basically come across and found work for me over the years and just wanted to show them to you real quick so that maybe you might think, hmm, maybe that'll work for me. So the biggest and newest one is this, uh, it's like a, a, a yoga roller, a ro uh, you know. So basically inside, it's got this hard, stiff plastic, and then on the outside, it's got this, well, I mean, it's still hard foam. And basically you can use this all along your back and all along your legs and everywhere else to basically use your body weight to roll off those knots. I just got this, I haven't used it yet, but it's been suggested to me for a long time and I finally got around to getting one. Um, so I'm looking forward to using that. But what I have used for quite a while is uh, one of these. And it's almost like two little balls sort of attached together and it's, it's kind of hard and basically this goes down right the center of your of your neck and your spine and then you can roll out all the knots on the muscles on each side of the spine to help loosen them up now what i do is i basically start here in the back of my head and then i slowly inch my way across the floor as this rolls down and and works those muscles and it even cracks my back and loosens up the joints and and sort of puts things back into place now the other thing a lacrosse ball, not a racket ball, not a tennis ball, because those are too soft. But I found that these lacrosse balls are just right. And basically, you set it down on the ground, and you just roll on it. And this acts like a, you know, it acts like a hand almost, you know, better than a hand, a fist, uh, to help work those knots out. And then you can control where it goes, you know, by rolling on it and everything. And another godsend. This, this is for more, like a more local, uh, pinpointy type spot for the really bad ones because it's a lot harder, it's a lot harder than this. 
and it really digs in there. And you can get this in, in more places than this because, you know, this is two, this is one, so this rolls all over the place. And then the last thing I got is, is one of these. And if you get a little bit closer, you can see that it's got lines cut out so that you can actually, you can actually break those things apart and make it fit your neck, whatever. So what happens is that, as you can see, this spot goes against your neck and your back of your neck goes there. It's gonna be kind of hard for me to show you this, but, but basically you have it like this. That is to help you get that curve back in your neck because in today's world, what are we all doing? This. See how that messes you up? Because everybody's always looking down at their phones, so they're messing with that freaking curve that's supposed to be there in their neck, but it does more than that because when you lean forward like that, you basically alter the entire shape of your spine. And if you do it all the time, you're really messing yourself up. I am on some form of internet-y smart device 18 hours a day it takes its toll. You gotta kinda have to find stuff that works for you, but I have found that, that those four devices uh, in your arsenal will really go a long way to help you uh, relieve your pain. Again, welcome to my world. I'm gonna do a lot of videos like this. I have a lot of contraptions in, in my house that, and in my car, basically, uh, that are designed to help me get through the day in as little pain as possible. But for now, that's all I got. I hope you feel better, and hopefully that helps. And if you have any tips or suggestions or questions, feel free to let me know. Other than that, remember kids, forward and up.